Hey guys, it's Kramaras and welcome to your Ghost Ahoy quest guide for the 2007 servers. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself a bowl of water and head over to Edgeville. And once you're at Edgeville, just south of the bank, you'll find a pair of leather gloves on the ground. If they're not there, just hop worlds. It's because someone else took them. Go ahead and equip those leather gloves and let's run south towards the yew trees. And just next to these yew trees here, you'll find some nettles. Go ahead and pick them with the lever, letter, lev, Jesus, I can't speak, leather gloves on to get some nettles. Let's start running north now towards the little cooking symbol on the map west of the bank. On your way here, use your nettles on your bowl of water to get a nettle water. Now, once you're in this house with the stove, we're going to go ahead and use our nettle water on the stove to get some nettle tea. All right, for this quest, you need 35 Ecto tokens. If you don't know how to get these, there's a link to my guide in the description below. You need your Ghost Speak amulet, roughly 1,000 coins. Don't bring your whole stack. I'll probably end up losing it, to be honest. A bucket of milk, a piece of silk, three red dye, three blue dye, and three yellow dye. Now, in this quest, you're going to be asked to give three random dyes. So you might as well bring three of each, as they're not that expensive. And if you were to go back and get them during the quest, it's going to take a whole lot of time. One spade, an oak longbow, a knife, a needle, one thread, and your nettle tea. For recommended, it's recommended to bring a couple stamina potions. And later on in the quest, we need to kill a level 35, so you'll need gear, weapons, and food to kill that. Alright, when you're ready to begin, Head to the entrance of Port Phasmatis, which is just south of the Ectophuntus, located in Mortania, however you pronounce that. Go ahead and pay the toll at the energy barrier to get through. Make sure that your Ghost Speak amulet is equipped. We now need to head west to speak with a woman. So you can see the quest symbol on the house here, and Valerina inside. Speak to her. Option 1. Why, what is the matter? Then say option two, no, could you tell me? And lastly, option one, yes. Let's run back to the entrance of Port Phasmatis by going west. Here we can pass through the energy barrier. And then Make your way into the Ectophuntus and speak to Never. How do you pronounce this guy's name? It starts with an N, Nectar Varius. Once you're done chatting with him, let's head back to uh, that girl. So pay the two Ecto token fee and run east. Talk to her and say option one Do you know where this woman can be found? So we now need to head to the Slayer Tower, so let's make our way there by exiting out of Port Phasmatis. So just go west, pass through the energy barrier, and let's follow the path which is just west of the Ectophuntus here. This will take us up to the farm in Animal Magnetism. Run west past that farm. And keep running past the graves here, going west, and we'll hit another path. Now we're going to follow this path pretty much uh, until we get just past the fence here. So once you come up to the fence, just keep following it, but we want to pretty much head on a straight path west. And where it starts to bend away, going north, you'll see a small little pond on the map. Keep going west, we're very close to the Slayer Tower now. You might want to start heading a little bit north. And here's the Slayer Tower. Now, just northeast of the Slayer Tower is a house. We're going to go to that house. And inside we'll find the old crone. Let's go ahead and open the door and speak to her.
She's going to give us a porcelain cup. Use, careful not to drink, your nettle tea on the porcelain cup. And then use your bucket of milk on the porcelain cup. This will make a cup of tea. Speak to the old crone again. She'll drink the tea. Say, option one, you are doing so much for me. And she will give us a model ship. Click on it to repair. All right, so now we need to make our way up to the ship, which is north of the Port Phasmatis farm. Uh, so, but first, if you have your dies noted, we need to go unnote them at the bank. So let's head southeast. If you already have them unnoted, you can start making your way up to this farm here. So let's just head southeast, making our way back down to the Canopus uh, city so we can use their bank. Past the Slayer Master and just south, there will be the bank. At the bank, you want to unnote all of your dies. And if you happen to bring all of your cash with you, you're going to want to go ahead and deposit that and take out just 1k. So with unnoted dies in hand, let's make our way back uh, up towards that farm. So we're going to head out of Canifus by going north past the Slayer Master. And then we're going to follow the same path that we took to get down to the Slayer Tower uh, to get back up. Once the path ends, you'll be greeted by some gravestones. Just keep heading west. So as soon as you hit the farm, uh, we can pretty much start going north onto the big wrecked ship. Just east in the ship, you'll find a ship ladder. Climb up it. And let's head all the way east until we get to the door here. Open the door. And just south of the door, there'll be a ladder. Climb up it. So you'll see a wind speed when you're up in this area, and in the middle of this little uh, ship top here, you'll see a mast. When the wind speed changes to low, search the mast. If it says the wind is blowing too hard to make any details, you didn't click it fast enough. So as soon as it's low, click on it, and when you get it, it'll say the bottom half of the flag is such a color. Now, if it says that the color, so for example, mine is yellow. If yours said orange, you would go ahead and you would use blue. Uh, so keep in mind that if you get orange, you want to use red and yellow dye together to make that color. If you get purple, you want to use red and blue dye together to make that color. And if you get green, you want to use blue and yellow dye together to make that color. So when you search it at low speed, it will say the top half of the flag is color such. So in my case, it says that the top half is purple. So I'm going to make purple by using red and blue. And then I'm going to use my purple dye on the model ship. And I'm going to color the top half that color. Keep in mind these colors are different for everybody. So you do need to search the mast at low wind speed to be able to find them out. It can take some time here to switch. This one tells me that the bottom half is color yellow, so I'll use some yellow dye on the model ship and color the bottom half that color. And it tells me that the skull emblem is color blue, so I'll use that on the model ship. Keep in mind once again that these colors are different. So once your ship, go ahead and inspect it and it will tell you all the colors. So once you're done with that, let's climb down the ship ladder and enter in this little uh, building area of the ship. Now we need to speak to the old man. Ask what is your name, option one. Then speak to him again and ask is this your toy boat, option three. He trades us a key for the toy boat. Open the closed chest in the north of the room. 
sorry, use the key on the closed chest. Now we can open it, and once we open it, we will get a map scrap. Let's make our way out of the room now and head north. You'll see a gangplank across that. Now we need to jump from rock to rock. You need to stand on the exact square to be able to jump. Otherwise, never mind, it lets you. Um, so if it says it's too far to jump, you need to just stand one square, uh, just on the very edge of the ledge here. Uh, but some of them you are able to just click on. Just keep that in mind, they can be kind of annoying. So once you get to the end of these rock formations, you'll find a closed chest. Open it and search it and you'll get another piece of a rock. Let's make our way back across these rocks. Now we're about to kill the level 32 monster, so let's climb down this ship ladder here. Now if you want to you can bank, but it's really really not too hard, uh, and you can kind of say split them down here anyways. So let's run all the way to the eastern end of this boat and open the closed chest, and then search it. Now here's the giant lobster. If you're having trouble fighting him, you can stand all the way to the east. When his hit points drop, you can run up, attack him, and then run back. So when that health bar goes away, you can simply attack him and run back. Just like this, and that way it won't get any hits on you. However, he's not too hard to kill. He's only 32 hit points, so I'll see you guys when I have killed him. Once you have finished him off, we can search that chest now to find the third map scrap. Use any map scrap on any other map scrap to make a treasure map. Let's go ahead and read it, and then we can close out. Now we need to head back to Port Phasmatis, so let's climb up the ship ladder to the west. And then we can make our way... Oops, sorry, climb down the ship ladder. And now we can make our way back by heading south towards the farm. And once we're at the farm, head east. Keep running until you get to the Ectophantus. Oh my god, I hate pathing in this game. What is going on? Alright, and then we get to the entrance support Phasmatis. Pay the two Ecto token fee to get through. Let's head east once we're inside the port city. So head east towards the docks, past uh, where we started this quest at. And if we look around on our map here, we'll find a guy that kind of looks like a samurai. Uh, Ak Harun, however you pronounce his name. Speak to him. Say, okay, wait here, option one. Now, let's run west into the bar. In the bar, you will find Robin Hood. Speak to him. Say yes, I'll give you a game, option one. Now you're going to click draw. The way this game works is that the first person to draw a death rune loses. You need to win four times. So if you win or lose, close out and you'll automatically speak to him again. And just say yes, I'll give you a game. Keep playing until you win four times. Now, when you have won four times, he will owe you 100 gold coins. And he will sign our oak, long, our oak bow in return uh, to not pay. So, once you've done that, run out into the main bar, speak to the ghost innkeeper. 
and say option four, do you have any jobs? Then say yes, I'd be delighted, option one. Let's head back to the samurai who is east. He will trade us for the bow and we will get a translation manual. Let's head a little bit east on these docks up to the charter people. Trade either of them. So the trader crew member, trade any of them and buy one bucket of slime. Now use your bucket of slime on the bed sheet. You can drop these buckets now, we don't need them. With your bedsheet in hand, let's run west into the main entrance towards the main entrance of the town. Here you'll see a few people with signs. We're looking for Gravis or Gravings, whatever his name is. Equip the bedsheet and then speak to him. And say option one after hearing. It will give us a petition form. Now this petition form we need to get 10 signatures on. We can do that by speaking to the ghost villagers around here. Now they are either going to say yes, no, or ask to be bribed to do so. However, it's not worth paying them if you only brought the amount of if you only brought 35 ecto tokens as they um you pretty much won't have enough to finish the quest. Now, if they do say no or they ask to be bribed, you can ask them again after you've spoken to two other ghosts. Um, if you Otherwise, if you do it before you speak to two, like if you spoke to one and you went back, they'll just keep saying no. So around this village, there's a whole bunch of ghosts. Go ahead and talk to um, all the ghost villagers. Uh, ghost shopkeepers, they don't matter. They need to be villagers. So once you've obtained 10 signatures. Let's go ahead and make a way back to the guy who gave us the petition form. He'll tell us we need to go present it to a guy who's located in Ectofunctus. So let's remove our bed sheet and then we can pass through the energy barrier. We're looking for Neck Reverse. Speak to him. Now he destroys it, and under him he'll drop a bone key. Pick that up very quickly. Now we need to head up this staircase to the west, or east. Then run all the way to the southern side of this room. There'll be a door here. Use your bone key on it and then we can open the door, open up the coffin and search it and we will find some mystical robes. Let's make our way back downstairs. Now let's make our way back inside Port Phasmatis. Pay the two ecto token toll to get in. and make your way onto the docks. Once you're on the docks, head to the southmost area. Here you'll find a little guy with a little rowboat, the ghost captain, speak to him. And say option one to pay 25 ecto tokens to go to Dragon Tooth Island. So once you're on Dragon Tooth Island, we need to run just south well, southeast to get to the uh, area where it kind of splits. So there's just one little path to get to the second area of the island. Here you'll see a plant. And we need to go two squares south of the plant. And we need to go two squares south of this evergreen to the west. Then we can dig with the spade. And we will find a book. We now need to return to the old crone, so if you have a teleport for that, feel free to use it. If not, let's walk there. So let's just make our way back to where we got on this island at by heading north, west. 
Speak to the ghost captain, captain and ask option one if he can take you back. He will for free. Now let's make our way to the main entrance of the town so we can leave. and past the energy barrier. And you guys know where the old crone is, so let's just make our way there. Alright, so once you're back at the old crone's house, make your way inside. Speak to her. And she'll do a little dance, and you'll notice your ghost speak amulet is now green. So let's make our way out of this house and head east, back to the Ectophantis, pretty much to finish this quest. So once you're back at the Ectophantis, we need to speak to that head guy whose name I can't pronounce because it's weird and runescapey. Speak to him, never little. And now this is very important. Make sure you select option one, let any ghost who so wishes pass into the next world. If you pick any other option, you're going to need to run back to the old crone and re-enchant that amulet. Now because of that magical enchant, he agrees. Let's pass through the energy barrier, just pay the toll. You'll notice now, however, it actually doesn't take any Ecto tokens to get through. And then return back to the girl who we started the quest with. And this will be quest complete. Thank you guys for watching. And